Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFurdo.com with another video in the Android Car Tablet Infotainment Center series. Um, and you can see I have a car uh, uh, app up on my screen right now. This is Car Home Ultra, which is a really good uh, alternative choice if you want to use it uh, as your main screen as opposed to using uh, uh, using a regular launcher, home screen launcher, you can use this app uh, and you can e actually have a separate launcher if you sometimes use your tablet outside of your car and you want a separate launcher for that. This is just an app basically that when you start it kind of becomes your home screen. You can see you have all these buttons uh, that you can use. You even have musical uh, music controls and these are universal music controls to play music and you can assign buttons so if you tap then it opens up and you can choose from applications you can choose from car home ultra features so you can have a direct well you can't have a direct dial on a tablet so it doesn't work for that but you can have a sleep mode um, home launcher voice voice search google now so those are specific car uh, home features or you can launch an application or you can launch any of the shortcuts that are built into your tablet which is very uh, uh, very cool and you'll see see all of those here um, any of the shortcuts that you have on your tablet and then you have these settings over here uh, you have gives it Guesses at your address. This is not the exact location I'm at, but it's pretty close. Um, you have speedometer. You have heading south. What direction? Of course, right now we're not moving, so it's going to have a hard time knowing, but it will try to, as you're moving, it'll tell you. And you have weather. And you can change these um, uh, into what you want them to be. If we long press on it, then you can choose a clock. You can have the directions, speedometer. Um, Altimeter, I think that's how you say that, battery level, or weather. So those are the different things that you can set in those three panels, uh, which is kind of cool. And uh, you can also uh, change some of the settings. You have a brightness right here. So if you tap there, it brings up the brightness. You can switch it to auto brightness, uh, or you can change the level, or they have a specific day or night. And then it'll auto close. If you don't do anything, it'll automatically close, which is cool. Um, tap that. You have different skin colors you can choose from. So you can change the color of it. See now we have a, a green color. Uh, over here, if you tap this, you can choose your alert options, city alerts, uh, set speed alarm. So you can set a speed alarm on and you can have this uh, open from the speedometer when tapped if you want. And then if you hit settings, there are various things. You can go to safety options. You can hide the status bar. Uh, tactile buttons, you can turn on or off. You can mute alerts. Uh, text auto reply doesn't apply for a car tablet, obviously. This is meant to be used either in a, on a phone or a tablet. Uh, but those are some cool options. And then if you go to change page type, you can change the type of page. Right now we have six buttons and uh, you can make it uh, eight buttons or you can make it a media controller. So let's go eight shortcut buttons. So now we have eight buttons, which I think is good because on a, on a tablet, using this on a tablet, eight buttons is plenty big enough. Uh, and that way you get more on a single screen. Let's jump over here to the next screen and let's change that page type and let's change it to media controller and so now this is a media controller now this is really cool because this allows you full control of your media you can have your media shortcuts you pick a media player and you can have this control any media player you want so let's choose Google Music um, if you tap here you can change your sound volume really easy enough And then here you can select other media shortcuts. You could put all your media apps in here so that you can quickly get to a different media app. And then these are your media controls to control, play, uh, play, pause, and stop. And so this would start playing right now. We're going to pause it.
because I don't want it to actually play for copyright reasons. But as you can see, it displays the, the name of the artist and the song that's playing. So that's cool, and you just swipe over, and you're back to your main controls. So this is a really um, cool option, and you can have as many screens as you want. Now let's go to settings, and you'll see some other various settings. You can choose the units, uh, display options, so you can select specific uh, settings for day mode. So you can select the colors and stuff you want during the day, and then have different ones for night. Uh, highlight button borders. Uh, day color scheme only, display orientation, and sleep mode. So all these things you can set up so that it works uh, really uh, excellent for you. So page setup, set up what is shown on Sean, Sean. I can't say that word right now. Sean on each page. Uh, so you can set up what you want on each page inside of here as well. Uh, button beep, so it'll beep whenever a button is pressed. Uh, startup options, so you can choose how you want it to start. Exactly. Start Bluetooth on detect. Um, st only start when charging. Uh, various things you can uh, set up on how it's going to start. Uh, how update rates. So how quickly this information updates over here. The media controller settings. So you can select uh, different controllings for the media. Um, sound, so you can s select uh, media volume if you want to mute the notification sound. Uh, wireless, keep display on, which obviously if, when this is in use, you might want to keep your display on, so that's a good one. Apply settings for labs, enable, check G D P GPS, stop media on exit, so you want it to st it stop playing music when you exit automatically. Um, very cool. Uh, very cool things that you can do here. And so, here we go. Going back to the main screen. So you can see, it's uh, very simple, very intuitive. Uh, good way to have uh, this as your car tablet. Uh, if you don't have a lot of widgets you want to use, then, and all you're going to use this for is to open apps uh, and or to control music, then this is uh, definitely a good option because it does have all of those features as well as a few bonus features that uh, come built into it. There's one other feature I did want to show you inside of settings. I think this is a really important and really cool feature for using this. It's under startup options. If you check start stop car mode, then once you launch this, that officially puts this app and your tablet into car mode. What that does is it binds this app to your home button as your home launcher temporarily until you exit it. So let's say you needed to check something in Maps. So you open Maps. Now you're in the uh, 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 Map app and oh good grief. Now you're in the Map app and you need to go back to Car Home Ultra. You hit your home key. Well because you bound, you had that checked Hitting the home key takes you back here. This is your home until you exit. Now once you exit, once you click that exit button and you exit Car Home Ultra, then you're back to your home, main home launcher and hitting the home key only affects that. But anytime you launch Car Home Ultra, it binds your key to this. So I open play music but now I need to go back to Car Home Ultra because there's something else I need to do. I hit the home key and that home key is going to take me back to Car Home Ultra because that's bound to the home key. So that I think that's a really awesome feature. I wanted to make sure I pointed that out because I think that's uh, uh, very brilliant programming uh, for this app and a good way to set it up to make it excellent to use as your uh, uh, Android car tablet. Uh, car launcher screen because when you're driving you want that home key to always take you back here because you're going to be using what's inside of this app so anyway cool feature I wanted to make sure I got that in there for you um, and it's very customizable to make it very simple and easy to use while you're driving so again this is car home ultra uh, very uh, uh, very good app to use on your Android tablet to set it up as a car infotainment system so that's going to be it for this video as the second option for your uh, uh, car, for your car home to set up as your car home. And uh, uh, come back for future videos. Uh, we're going to 
talk about one other app that I recommend as a possibility for this use in the next video. So you'll want to come back for that. Between now and then, check out my channel. Uh, I've got lots of playlists, Tasker tutorial playlist, Android app review playlist, uh, electronic and gadget and appliance product review list, and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with all my videos. And uh, that is about it until the next one. So have fun with your Android car tablets.